Hello and welcome everyone to this video on implementing ABAP enhancements by Zarentic. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentic YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hey everyone, in this video, we are going. I am going to show you the implementation of enhancements in SAP. So before showing that, let's discuss what is the enhancement. So in case of enhancement, we enhance the SAP functionality in customer namespace. That is, we will be using either Z or Y for enhancing our SAP functionality. And if we are using, we will not be using Z or Y, then it is called as modification in SAP terminology. So simply I will say you that, uh, suppose you want to add some feature in your SAP term SAP. So what you will do, you will simply perform any enhancement. Now, how many types of enhancements are there? So basically, we have four kinds of enhancement. First one is implicit enhancement. And in case of in implicit enhancement, you will see the implicit points either at the start or at the end of the program. Now, and then if it is an explicit enhancement, then you will see the explicit point at any line of the program. Then we have customer exit and body. Body basically works on classes and interfaces. Then at last we have one kind of modification which is user exit. So this is all about the introduction. Now I'm going to show, show you a practical implementation of implicit enhancement. Suppose we have this function module, reuse ALV grid display. Reuse ALV grid display. Which is mainly used to display ALV. Uh, if I show you its practical implementation, C38. Grid. Grid display. Perfect. I'll click on L Scoot button. And if I will take input from 1 to 20, it will show me ALV. Perfect. Now, suppose I want to add some of features in this particular function module, some additional features. So for that purpose, what I will do, I will use the implicit enhancement. As I told you earlier that in case of implicit enhancement, you will see implicit point either at the start or at the end of the program. Perfect. So what I will do, I will simply go to um, uh, go to the program, then I'll click on edit and I'll click on enhancement operation, then show enhancement. So I'll simply go to this program, I'll click on edit, then enhancement operation and show implicit enhancement. We can see we have this implicit point at the start and at the end of the program. Perfect. I will simply click on it, then I'll click on this enhance button. You can see that where this is basically our explicit enhancement and this is our implicit enhancement. I'll simply right click on it, enhancement operation and click on create implementation. Then I'll click on code and I'll click on create button. Uh, and I'll give some name, suppose uh, implicit 07. 07. I'll click enter. Okay. So we need to give some sort description for that. I will be using in play set enhancement. I will double click on it. Now you can see in this particular SAP program, we got some space where we can write our logic. So suppose uh, I want to display or oh, 1 to 10. So what I will do? Data, LV, data, type, int. Int, type I only. I will be perfect. No issue. I don't think there will be some issue. We don't need to write that much. 
I will simply use a write statement so that we can understand this concept write I this function module is used for grid display perfect I will click on activate button now I will simply go to my particular program which I have just shown you for displaying the sales order detail I will click on execute button I will give input from 1 to 20 we can see my ALV is being displayed. Now click on back button. See, I this function module is used for grid display. So this is how you, what you can do. You can add any enhancement to your SAP program using implicit enhancement. Now the most important thing that we need to remember that if we are performing any enhancement to our SAP, term, SAP program, then we must undo it after the practice it. So I will simply right click on it. I will go to enhancement operation and undo implementation. And I will click on activate button. So that my enhancement will not affect the other user of my SAP server. Another thing is that this is basically your explicit enhancement which are you are seeing. Which you can use for your requirement. Then we have our body. Let me show this. For body, we have the important transaction code which is SC18. Here you can, this is mainly body builder which is for body definition. And then we have SC19 for body implementation. Bodies are mainly based on OOPS concept and inside OOPS is mainly used, it mainly use classes and interfaces only. So this is all about my enhancement in SAP. Thank you very much.